Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is an energy of someone who's showing up as quite disinterested, a bit apathetic even. Um, the offers that are being presented to this person, this person is not open to them. They're not seeing them. This person may be focused more on what they wish for the future. I'm seeing someone here who is, you know, it, it's almost like they're missing out on opportunities or they're just declining offers here uh, because they, there's a, a lack of interest here yeah. so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this um aries okay so the first card we have is the chariots and this is cancer energy so you could be dealing with a cancer next you have the five of swords in the reverse air energy and finally we have the two of swords air energy again so there is definitely someone here who you, there's it's almost like you're not open to them um with the two of swords you're, you're it's, there's a blockage or you may just not be trusting towards this person with the five of swords showing up there this could have been someone who you had conflict with this could have also been someone who was often a very jealous person when you knew them or when you interacted with them um, and this could have caused a lot of disagreements or not seeing eye to eye or clashes between egos with that five of swords but with the five of swords being in the reverse and the chariot being there this is someone who wants to move the connection forward this is someone who wants the connection to get back on the right track this is someone who still sees hope for the connection they still want a victory they still want to succeed in this connection um i do see this person as someone who has a lot of willpower um with the chariot there um this is definitely someone who wants to take control of the situation but they're they're definitely seeing you as someone who is very closed off to them or you may just not trust this person anymore or you may feel like this is not someone who you you can be on the same page with um you know something about them extending themselves towards you it's like they're being met with a disinterested energy from you in fact with this two of swords um, there is a blockage you may have blocked this person in some way or you know that you could be creating blocks when it comes to communicating with this person um, there is just a sense of you delaying having to communicate with this person or having to um, work through something with this person with this two of swords um, things are definitely at a stalemate but their energy is quite contrasting i do see a strong desire to move the connection forward but at this two of swords it's like something here is blocking this um, there is definitely a fear energy that is pervading Preventing, um, you know this forward movement it's like this person is charging wanting to charge a hit but they're hit being hit by a brick wall here okay so let's clarify these cards Aries
Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So again, we're seeing an energy of abandoning a situation, wanting to move away from something. Um, there's definitely something about this personal situation where you've deemed the situation as unfulfilling or not serving to your greatest good. And I, I do see it's like you're walking away from it. You're, you're rejecting this person's offer, or you're just no longer investing emotionally into the situation. Um, or you, this could be someone who you did already do this with you could have already walked away from them and um they are you know this is someone who is still of the mind that you guys can still work on it okay so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this aries okay so the first card we have is the ten of pentacles and this is earth energy next you have the three of pentacles earth energy again and finally, you have the Six of Wands, Fire Energy. So this person, they see you as a victory. They see you as someone who they want to be with. Um, they are very invested. I do see with the Ten of Pentacles, this is someone who would give a lot to the situation. They would, um, you know, invest their hearts, their time, their resources, energy with that Ten of Pentacles because they see, they still see potential. They still see, you know, this is something that they believe in. They want to get on the same page. They want to collaborate. They want to be partnered with you. You have this person's full attention as well with that Six of wands um i do see them wanting to reclaim the situation there's just the sense of them um you know still wanting to give it a shot and with them having that strong willpower this is someone who's going to be very um persevering they're not going to give up easily because in their mind you are the ten of you are their ten of pentacles um they feel like this is a, a situation that's not over it's like to them it's like it's not over until i say it's done you know it's just the sense of not wanting to accept that, you know, there's a defeat here or that something is, um, that you're not open to them. So I do see a bit of a forceful energy from them. But um, ultimately, I do see that their intentions, their desires is to have some sort of stability with you, to have something long term and to get on the same page as you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Aries. So the card says the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. Okay, so with this energy, you may be releasing yourself from something here. Um, there is this sense of, um, you know, taking yourself out of a place of negativity, um, you know, a situation that wasn't serving you or wasn't fulfilling to you in some way. Um, but with these cards here at the bottom, there was definitely the sense of potential, so much potential, so much promise of a future here. Um, but I do see it's like the difficult parts. It's, it's, it's like you're um, definitely wanting to remove negative um, energies from yourself. There's just the sense of freeing yourself from a situation whereby um there may have been a lot of hope in the beginning but something with this five of swords energy may have this may have happened one time too many whereby you started to lose faith in this person or you just even just started becoming more apathetic towards them looking at them as someone who you know they can make big promises but when it comes to delivering uh the ego gets in the way with that five of swords and it's almost like you know better it's like there's just a sense of you knowing more than any outsider when it comes to the situation okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you um aries So the card says new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings okay so there could be new love here this could be why you're no longer interested in someone from the past um there is a sense of you know a lot of potential there is something here that is coming in for you an opportunity to have new love and there, you could be moving on to something more um uh, more solid more stable because with the eight of cups it's like this is someone who's walking away but someone who knows their worth so this new love would have to be something uh you know very much reflective of the fact that you know your worth so i do see if you are meeting someone new or you are moving towards a new love this is going to be someone who um 
who will reflect that you know your worth. I do see someone who will be, um, you know, better than the last person. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, um, Aries. So the card says playfulness. Play is the royal road to childhood happiness and adult brilliance. Okay, so I do see you leaving something very intense, something very, um, it was like it was making you unhappy, uh, very emotionally unhappy or unfulfilling, especially with that Eight of Cups. And there is just the sense of moving, closing out that tough cycle, that the difficult or, you know, draining energy and moving on towards something that will be more uh, fulfilling to your soul. And um, I'm also seeing something that will also, it's like, it won't be a love that you have to endure too much. It'll be more so connecting with someone who's on the same page as you and even more so compatible as well sharing the same vision and goal for the future with you as well okay so that's what i'm seeing for you aries i hope you have a really really good day aries bye aries